All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Today we are unboxing some board games. Well, we're boxing the first thing is uh, Heroescape, Age of Annihilation, Battle for the Wellspring. I have the, that's the smaller set in front of us, in the front. We have the bigger master set in the back, but that's going to be another unboxing. So uh, this is a live stream. So if you're watching this on YouTube, please feel free to uh, fast forward, skip around. Uh, and if you like what you see, come back here and uh, watch the whole process and conversation. So yeah, welcome everyone. All right. Let me check the stream is good. All right. Looks like things are running. Yeah, so Heroescape. Heroescape is a game from 20 years ago. I think it's 2004. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Or 2024. Uh, so yeah, around 2004, Heroescape was like a big deal. Um, it's a miniatures war game. It's kind of a beginner miniatures war game, but it was really well done and very popular at the time. Because one, it was pre-painted and you didn't have to paint them. Um, unfortunately, I bought the unpainted versions because they were much, much cheaper. Because one of the reasons the game died out was it was very expensive to produce, uh, especially since they were painted. Um, but now, you know, they sell, they sell a standard version that's unpainted, so you have to do it yourself. Uh, and they sell a way more expensive premium version that's painted and I could not afford that one. So <laughs> this is what we got to work with. All right, let me send out some uh, notifications first. Let's see. Um, let's do that. Boop. Let's do this. All right, and we're good. Okay, let me get to Stream Manager. Let's go to Channel. Um, profile, My Channel. There we go, we're live. Title and category are good. Hello, hello, hello. Title and category are good. Okay, that's my voice. That's my crazy voice. Sandy! Beautiful wife. <laughs> All right, yeah. Welcome, Sandy. How are you doing tonight? I hope everything is well. We're unboxing board games today, Sandy. Welcome. Yeah, so everybody feel free to chat. Mm. And let's get to unboxing. Okay, let's start with, well, we are, for tonight, we're doing the uh, beginner, well, the smaller set. All right, so this is Good, you just woke up, Sandy? It's late, isn't it? It's like, uh, it's 9.30. All right, so this is Heroescape. Age of Annihilation. Battle for the Wellspring. Um, what do you call this? Two-player battle box. Perfect gateway to Heroescape. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's better if I put it flat on the table. Let's do it like this. We'll uh, do that. Man, it is a big box. So yeah. Have you ever played any board games, Sandy? So here we go. Heroescape, that's, I don't know if they changed the logo, but it looks like they changed the logo. Age of Annihilation is the latest edition. Um, Battle for the Wellspring, that's this box. Oh, bump the uh, microphone. Let me move the microphone. Oh man, comedy of errors here. Yeah, okay, let's look at the back of the box. So, this is the game. So you have miniatures, right? Oh fudge. This is, maybe we gotta do it like this. Yeah. So you got a whole bunch of uh, miniatures, but the big selling point for Heroescape. So let's say uh, the original, not original war games, but 
War games back in the 70s and 80s uh, were played on hex maps, hexagonal spaces. So, you know, when you play, you know, these are spaces you could put your figures on. Well, back then it weren't figures. They were um, cardboard squares, cardboard counters with the stats on them that you would put here. Only the older ones you played with your dad, Sandy? Yeah, like classic board games, like maybe like Monopoly or Risk or Trouble. Yeah, oh man. The board games are, are cool. They're, they're coming back with some really good ones these days, like some, some more interesting ones. Yeah, look at these little miniature figures. Unfortunately, as we open this, we'll see that I have to paint these things which I might do painting streams for. Yeah. And uh, so the innovation with HeroScape, you know, like a landscape, was instead of a flat paper or cardboard map with hexagons on it, and instead of little cardboard squares that you just put on the spaces, it's now plastic hexagon building tiles, kind of like Legos that you would stack on top of each other. Kind of like what we have as Minecraft these days. See? And, you know, different terrain. Some, some different terrain has different stats. This, this has trees also you could add on there. And, you know, the figures are your playing pieces and then you roll dice uh, to combat each other. Yeah, pretty cool. And then different figures have different abilities and powers. Oh, there's the dice. See the different dice over here? Nice. So this set comes with six highly detailed, fully assembled, unpainted miniatures. 31 hex tile terrain pieces. Oh man, the autofocus is going crazy. Uh, some Lower Jungle Trees, six combat dice, uh, one 20-sided dice, a die, uh, order markers, uh, wound markers, powder markers. I don't know what that is. Um, glyphs, army cards, rule book, and scenario guide. Now, I, I did get into HeroScape a long time ago, but I, I never really got to play it much but yeah I did a test game and I learned a little bit so what I think we're gonna do today is unbox the game build the first map take a look at the miniatures and then probably when I stream again uh, we'll probably play out a test game after, after I read the rules yeah what's that Sandy you play the what's What's BO6 beta last night? Oh, Black Ops? Oh, Call of Duty. How was it? I heard you could, you could, when you down someone, you could grab them and use them as a shield or something, right? Or like have them like as a hostage? That's crazy. Were you able to do that? That's why I don't want to play with you because that's what you're probably going to end up doing to me. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> He's just gonna end up grabbing my body and like hauling me around using me as a shield. <laughs> Most likely, right, Sandy? All right, so yeah, that's HeroScape. And let's get to, let's get to unboxing. All right. So again, let's, let's look at the box. This is the cover. Heroescape, Age of Annihilation, Battle for the Wellspring. And it comes with, exclusive for this box, is Wellspring Water Tiles. So yeah, sometimes different tiles have different effects. Okay, let's open it up. Let's get the plastic open. Oh, I keep bumping the microphone. I'm so not used to streaming sometimes with this setup. I like streaming on the PlayStation. Oh, oh no, what's that? What's that? Uh, <laughs> that is a reflection. Hopefully I didn't get my ugly face in the reflection. Oh my gosh, so ugly. Ah, 
Sorry I'm wearing gloves, but I got them ugly hands. Now you don't want to spend the whole stream looking at ugly hands. That, that would cost extra. Adam, hello! Oh man, Adam, you missed it. I streamed the uh, multiverses like around lunchtime earlier today. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Welcome, Adam, and welcome, Sandy. A big peacekeeper salute to all of you. Wait a minute. How do I... There we go. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. It's hard to press the button with the gloves on. Oh, you're busy then, San uh, Adam? No problem. Adam, say hello to Sandy. I think both of you are from Canada. Yeah. So pretty cool. The Canadians hanging out in my stream. All right, so I, I ripped open the uh, the plastic wrap. How does this box open? I do not see an opening. Oh, there we go. Boop, 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 boop. Let me get the uh, tweezers. Let's pop that open. And we'll see what's going on. Yeah. Oh, where in Canada are you, uh, Adam? I think you're like around near me on the East Coast. I remember we have the same time zone. Oh, man. Hold on. I'm going to have to raise the tripod. Pull out. Oh, the box. Oh, I keep bumping the microphone again. Oh man, this box is gigantic. I don't know how I'm going to do the other unboxing. So look at all that. Oh, fudge, 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 fudge. Alright. Let me close up the box and put it in the background. Is there any more stuff in here? Da-da-da. Alright. There we go. That's, that's, uh... Battle for the Wellspring. Let's put that in the background. Look at all this. Pretty good, just chilling. Ah, yeah. Oh, wait. What did I miss in chat? Ah, you agree with each other. That's cool. Mm, pretty good. Everybody's just good playing games. Awesome. Yeah. I forgot. Uh, Adam, you're on a what? Xbox? Sandy is on Xbox and uh, PlayStation. If if you guys wanted to hang out, play games. All right, this is this is what's going on in here. Look at this. So we got uh, tree pieces. I think we have to put the tops on the trees. Oh, man, look at that! All that foliage. Uh, I would imagine this. It's like a palm tree. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. I like these things. It's like pre-done scenery for miniatures games, which I use for, if you look at my photos of my painted miniatures, I have old HeroScape uh, jungle trees there too. And this little foley, whoop, whoop. There we go. Let's see, what are you doing? I am unboxing a board game called HeroScape. See that back there? It's called Heroescape, Age of Annihilation, Battle for the Wellspring. It's a board game. Man, Adam, I was trying to explain it to you at the beginning, but you weren't listening. All right, let me start over for you, Adam. This is a board game. You, you build the board with these plastic tiles, and then you have your miniature figures. Oh, you're here. Okay, you have your miniature figures and you, you move them around and you have dice that you use to battle and defend and you have, you know, you can play out different missions and attack each other. See? It's like this. And you, what's cool about this game compared to other games where a lot of board games are just a flat cardboard board. Instead, you have these plastic tiles 
that you stack kind of like Minecraft that you could, uh, you know, make a whole landscape of. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Da -da -da. All right, we'll put that in the back. And then the more sets you buy, the, the bigger, more complex uh, terrains you could build. Let me see. So this beginner set only comes with six figures. Let's take a look at what they are. Now you have to, so when you buy the standard edition, it doesn't come painted. You could keep them like this or you could paint them yourself. All right, let's see if we could focus. This is some kind of bird creature. Yeah, look at that. That was pretty cool. Oh man. Yeah, Sandy plays Call of Duty and like a bunch of other games like The Division and Fall Guys. Oh man, one time we all got to get together and play Fall Guys. Look at look at this creature. This is probably like a boss. It's got all tentacles. <laughs> Oh man, what is this thing? It's kind of like something like out of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Like a sea monster to person. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, that was fun playing Yu-Gi-Oh, Adam. I don't think Sandy plays Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, you know. It would take a bit to learn, but... I think Sandy could learn Yu-Gi-Oh. Look at this adventurer person. He's got a pistol and a dagger. Isn't that cool? How do they... Yeah, pretty cool. This lady adventurer. There's not that many figures in the in this box, but you know. I think there's 20 figures in the in the bigger box. Let's see. You'll try it out, Sandy? Yu-Gi-Oh! It's kind of like the Pokemon card game. Um, the best way to learn it is to get a, one of the pre-made decks in there that you can buy with, like, the free gems they give you. And then the, look at this guy. He's like a skeleton dude. I think this is the Marrow. Which are like these skeletons, kind of zombie dudes. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, got another dude. What's this? He looks like a musketeer or pirate guy. Yeah. Yeah, you guys should. Uh, you guys should exchange. Uh, well, I don't know. Um, Adam, you don't have PlayStation, right? Or you could, like, uh, hang out on Xbox with each other. I think the focus is better back here. Pretty cool. Is there still another figure? Oh, look at this. Look at this wolf. I think it's a wolf. It's a wolf with horns or something on its head cool sandy you i remember you told me you saw a bear in the woods the other day have you ever seen wolves oh my god they'd be scary pretty cool are they molded into the thing oh they got a cool they got an ink wash on them just to make them uh stand out a little bit that's why uh yeah, they got a little bit of an ink wash on them. But we're going to paint these, so... Uh, I'll probably do a paint stream to do that. All right. Here are the exclusive top. Oh, man, there's a lot of them. Look at these. These, uh, these are the magic wellspring tiles and regular water tiles. There's a lot of them. I didn't even realize. Oh, man. So the water tiles go all the way to, are they sparkly? They are sparkly. <laughs> kind of cool. No, you just have Xbox, Adam? Ah. Let's see, Sandy says your grandfather used to give the wolf food? Oh man, 
You got to make friends with the wolves so they don't eat you. Oh, man. That'd be cool. Uh, you've seen the pictures before, right, Sandy? Like I feed the, some of the animals that hang out in my backyard, like squirrels and some crows. So these are the tiles, right? And then, uh, you know, to make the board, you would stack them, kind of like Minecraft, to make different levels. And then the reason you uh, make different levels is like, so in the rules, when you move space to space, say you can move like five spaces. You can move like here to here to here to here. But if there's a, if they're stacked, if, if it's higher, each level you have to pay one extra space to go up. So like you got to count the sides. Like, so from here to here, Instead of one space, you, it counts as two because you count the side. So side one and then two to get up here. And then the more you stack them, you know, like say it was like this, and then there it was two levels high. So from here to here, it would count one, two, and then three to get on top. So what would normally cost you one space cost three if it was stacked like that. So, you know, you do different stackings and then you build your terrain. Pretty cool. It was a black wolf, Sandy? Oh, man. Man, those wolves must look cool. All right, let's get all these tiles out and see what else is in the box. So these are, I think, grass tiles. See, we also got like single ones, so you can make different configurations. Man, there are a lot. How do we, okay, let's, let's move. Oh, and there's like bigger ones at the bottom. Let me just turn this upside down. Because it's hard to get some of these out. All right, let me get rid of this plastic tray. We don't need this. I think it could go into recycling. Yeah. So we got a whole bunch of these. Let's move the figures to the side. Let's get all these. And these are like stone tiles. Now, I think there's no difference movement wise with the grass and the stone tiles, but I know there's snow and lava tiles that have specific rules to them. Let's see. You love uh, your new toy? I, man, it's not just a toy. It's a strategy game, Sandy. It's a serious strategic game. You know, that's simple to learn for beginners. Man, Sandy. Calling my stuff toys. <laughs> I mean, it is a toy. It's a board game but it, it also has a nice strategy element to it. Okay, and these are turn markers. So um, when, you, um, when you have your figures, um, you have to, there's like numbers on these little things, right? You have to put, you know, when the turn starts, like which one will move first, which one will move second and third. And the X is like just a, you know, a bluffing piece so that, like, you could put it on a piece to basically hide that you're not going to move that one. So these are the giant base pieces. See, if, if you play, you know, it's kind of like Lego, which is a toy, but imagine Lego that you fight battles on. How do I open this? Ah, oh, cool, it has a Ziploc, so you just open it like this. Boom, boom, boom. Oh man. Oh, there's two of them in here. Cool. These things are gigantic. So, see? So you can build a giant board. That's why it's called a board game. <laughs> Alright, let's put that over here. Here's the dice for the game. So, here's the way the dice work. The skull 
is when you're rolling to attack someone, that means you hit them. And if you're rolling to defend, the shield means you block an attack. And then, so you compare whether the opponent, um, the one attacking you has more, you know, hits, these skull hits, uh, compared to the defender's shields. And then if there's more hits than shields, then the attack goes through. But if there's more shields than these red hits, then that means you block the attack and no damage goes through. Yeah. Or, you know, what, whatever the excess is, is what, how much damage they take. Let me see, did I miss anything in the chat? Is Adam still there? Boop, 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 boop. War game is res question why you have gloves on. Uh, Cause I have ugly hands. I got like a, you know, my nails <laughs> are messed up cause I, I clipped them weird cause I clipped them short. And cause also I got, I have eczema, which is like rashes. And I got some of that on my hands. So that's why I wear the gloves. Yeah. I have a bad medical condition where, you know, I get rashes and stuff all over. So, and it looks pretty ugly. That's why I don't have a camera too. Don't say every hand is, <laughs> every hand is beautiful. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate that a lot. And here are the cards for the, the different creatures that we have the playing pieces for. So we should look at that. Let me get everything out of the box first. Here's like some of the rule books. This is, I think, the scenario guide. See, here's like how to put the boards together. Let's see. What's that, Sandy? Your sister bought you a baton? What kind of baton? Like for marching band or the kind for self-defense? See, here's how you would assemble the board. Uh, here's artwork of the creatures. This is how I'm going to try to paint them. Yeah. Look at this pirate guy. Looks pretty cool. But man... Yeah, thank you, Adam. I appreciate that sentiment. Adam, were you there yesterday? TG was streaming yesterday uh, evening. No, yesterday. Yeah, kind of like late afternoon to evening. So make sure to watch Wednesday. He said he might stream again Wednesday. Yeah, no, we all miss him, man. All right, and this is the main rule book. Oh, look at that weird creature. Let's see, he did, and you miss him? Yeah, well, it, he's been gone for like over a month. So it was cool to see him come back. See, see how you, you build all the maps and stuff? So it's like a customizable game where you could just make whatever map looks. So you could have rivers and stuff. Now, when you have water tiles like a river like this, it costs, uh, it slows you down to cross it. You know, just like any kind of strategy video game. As tiles, and then here's like the extra stuff you could buy. Oh, look at these bear dudes. Oh, why is it not focus? Yeah, look at those bears. He's your number one YouTuber to watch? Yeah, he's mine too. Well, except for Ginny. Ginny TTY. So I watch her channel a lot. Too. Okay, let me remove this cardboard. All right. Let's move that there. Oop. Let's see what we can do here. So we got all of these things. We got the, the stat cards. It's cool that they make them in weird shape, like, you know, like the hexagon boards. More boards. Uh, here's the figures. 
So you get a lot of stuff in the starter box. Now this was kind of pricey. I think this set cost um, $45. But in the big scheme of things, that's kind of a bargain, I think. Man. But you could probably find it cheaper, like on sale sometimes. But it's brand new. Yeah. Uh, let me see. What do we do now? Okay, we don't need the rule book right now. So I'm going to put that to the side. Uh, let me see. What did... Sandy, did you ever say what that baton was? What kind of baton is it? Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Just drinking a uh, soda. All right. So, oh, we also have the, the trees. These trees that you could put on the board. Man, that's pretty cool. These trees are bulky. Look, there's like cactus and stuff on it. Like bushes and stuff. Cool, and there's two of them in this box. Wait a minute, what? The baton is the one the, the cops use? Police? Oh man, that's cool. Yeah, there's videos on YouTube, Sandy, to learn how to use those. There's a special way to do it. Is it the one with the handle on the side? Or is it the metal one that's extendable? You know? Like, either in either case, there's some YouTube videos to show how to use them, like, as a martial art. Okay. Apparently, here's the characters that come in this box. This is Iwashia, Master of Tides. Uh, this is Anshu, the Welkin Eye, this bird thing. Looks like an owl. And then this wolf thing is Kita, the Spring Runner. And then the skeleton dude is Bakberna. Cool. And then, what is this? This uh, pirate guy is Killian Vane, the third. And then this kind of cool assassin lady or something is Fia Bonnie the Void Siren. So cool, it's just like any kind of video game. They got their, their own characters. And then the tiles are grass tiles, sand. We don't have sand, we have rock. Yeah, let's look at this thing. Let's, uh, let's try to make this first map. Map one is the Vengala Gulch. Let's see. What's the second one, Sandy? Oh, the metal one? The one that extends? Yeah. That's like you see those in action movies, too. Here, let me move the microphone a bit because it's getting in the way a little. How's the microphone? Does it sound okay? Dun -dun -dun. So it's the one that you like kind of, the metal baton, did you flick like that? And then you go pop, 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 pop. Yeah. Do you really need it to defend yourself? Man, that's scary. You gotta, you gotta be careful. So you got to, if you're going to do that, you got to practice. It's good. Thank you, Adam. Yeah. I had to move the microphone a little farther because it was getting in the way. I kept bumping it. Let's see. Map one, it says the Vengala Gulch. The mountainous region of the Tikala jungle are well guarded by the Kairi of the Moon Tribe. Winged warriors and priestesses fill, uh, flit between the dense trunks of the jungle trees, navigating their familiar home with an ease that confounds outside intruders. Those without the gift of flight have at last found a path the Kairi rarely tread. Vengala Gulch, a deep fissure cracked into the base of the mountains. 
Uh, the gulch circles between spires and crags, drawing a perilous trail uh, to the far side of the mountain where no interlopers would be suspected to arrive. All right. Let's see. Sandy says, you're still waiting to see your beautiful eyes. Jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sandy. That was not possible. All right. Let's see. Let's kind of build this thing. It's kind of like Lego. So what you do is see how it says level one, level two, level three. That shows you what pieces to put on each layer. You know, kind of like a Minecraft layer. So level one, we're going to need, let's, uh, let's put all the pieces together. Um, let's organize it. Uh, all right, these water things we don't need. Characters we don't need here. That we'll put down there. And then these single pieces just put on the side. All right. Let's see. You bought yourself bear spray? Oh my gosh. So you really saw a bear? Man, next time you see a bear, hide and then try to take a picture of it so I could see the bear too. All right. Let's uh, clear some space and see if we can build this thing. All right, let me lower the, let me lower this. And then we're gonna try to build. Hold on, oh, I gotta blow my nose. Let me mute the mic for a little bit. Okay, I'm back. Can you guys hear me? And the, my nose was bothering me. Allergies. Doop, 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 doop. All right, so we've got the HeroScape going. Let's see. The instructions say we need two of these big pieces. Oh, fudge. That's not going to fit in the video. Let me see. Let's move it, the tripod up and then down. Maybe, yeah, that's better. So, level one, we make this. What does? Ah, I see. Okay, so the, the gray tile is the stone tile. I thought it was. Okay. Let's, like this. How do we? Okay, so we need one of these stone tiles. Um... I think we tuck it into here. So they click together. See like these, these notches? They click together like that. Oh man, it's hard to do. Like. Oh man, I don't think I aligned it properly. Because I can't see it from the... Fudge, why don't you fit? All right, maybe I have to go this way? No, it should be able to suck it in this way. Let me just try it this way. Try it flat. For whatever reason, this... Oh, oh there we go. You got to just press down on it. There we go. <laughs> What's, what are we talking about here? Uh, uh, let me move the, the, the chat. Uh, okay, so Sandy bought bear spray. And, and Adam is gonna fight the bear with bear hands. <laughs> Built difference, Adam. Cool. 
And Sandy says, what was your favorite game when we played together? Fall Guys. My favorite game to play with you all was Fall Guys. That was so much fun. All right. So according to this, we also need a, a three piece. And then that connects like this. All right, and then I need a three piece of grass. And that connects like this. Okay, and then I gotta connect the big piece like this. Yeah, that's it. Oh, no. <laughs> Connecting the big piece is the, the hard part. Oh, fudge. Gotta align it correctly. Oh, man, come on. Is not aligning correctly. Fudge. Comedy. Of, this, I'm gonna end up breaking it, but I wish it slid in. I think you have, we have to like slide them all exactly at the same time. Some of it is not connecting. I think because some of this is not aligned perfectly. You know what? That's good enough for me. What's not, it looks like it's connected, right? I think this, these ones are a little loose. There we go. That was fine. Totally fine. Uh, Fall Guys is fun, but stressful. It is. I wish there was like um, a difficulty level that you could choose in Fall Guys. Because some of the maps are way too hard. I tried to play Fall Guys with Taj, but Taj couldn't get past uh, like the very beginning of like the maps that we played on. So she got turned off on it. All right, see how it's that's set up? That is this, level one. See, we have the two gray pieces over there, another grass piece, and then the big large pieces on the on the edges okay then we go to level two the stack pieces um hmm hmm to me this looks like um hmm okay let's start with these stone pieces That'll go, this, we're gonna stack that here. And then another, we should have another three piece of stone. Why don't we have another one? weird pretty sure we should have another one no what we have is grass but hmm let me check the if I didn't take everything out of the box We got everything out of the box. Huh. How many are we supposed to have in the box? Contents. Uh, three hex stone tiles. Yeah, we only have two. And that's how many. That's, we used one of them here and one of them here. So I don't know why the map says we should have three. Mm, I mean here. Yeah, see? 
one here and one here. Why? All right, let's just put a grass piece instead. Um, I think this goes... Uh, let's see here. Is it like this? Yeah, it looks right to me. And then we put this touching this. Okay. How, how would that merge? That looks about right. Okay. And then we should have those three. And then is it like this? Yeah, that looks about right. What is 14? Is it the trees? Man, I am still learning this. Sandy with the dinosaurs. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you for the emotes. Adam, what's your favorite emote? Let me see what your favorite emote is in the chat. Round borders, gold center numbers indicate tree height. Oh, okay, so that's where we put the trees. Okay, we have to put some single grass tiles here though. Okay, we put one here. And then another one here. I don't know, does that show up on the... Okay, and then this tree goes here. Oh man. Oh, let me put that down. Am I sure that's, yeah, that's, you have to make it fit. Make it fit. There we go. Things they interlocked, but it's kind of difficult. All right, and then this one interlocks with this right here. This. Oh. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Let me let me lower the so you could see what's going on. See that? Let's see. Oh, you like that that uh, laughing dude emote and my peace angel emote and the uh, the purple twitch heart? Cool. You know that guy? I think that is. Uh, What's his name? Total Biscuit. He was a YouTuber and Twitch streamer a long time ago that, that passed away. So pretty cool. Pretty cool he lives on. Yeah, the lolly mo. Yeah. He was a cool dude. I used to watch his channel. Pretty cool emotes. Let's see. What's my favorite emotes? Uh... Of course, that one, this one, and this one that I made. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Can't wait. Oh, and yours, your favorite, Sandy, is uh, the dinosaur and the nom nom. Is that a chocolate chip cookie? And my dang it emote? Oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, I used to say that a lot. Too funny. 
All right, so we finished level two of our build. Now level three. What do we? What do? What do they want us to add? Okay, I think level three we have to add. Uh, we have to add a grass tile here. Uh, we have to add two more tiles of the big tiles here to make more of an elevation. Oh man, you know what? The tiles they want us to put, we don't have. So let's just put this one there. Mm. All right, that's that's level three that we completed here. We had to add this, this, and one of the one space tiles here. Now level four, we have to add this and then these two, right? I think that's how that works. All right, so we'll add, uh, I think we add like this. Yeah, we don't have the right colored pieces, but it's totally okay. Mm, here, we put this here, and then this here. These have to interlock. Okay. Oh, I wish they would interlock easier. All right, so that's level four of the build. And then the last one, level five, I just think we add one more in the center. And then that's all our pieces. And we have uh, the land pieces, so we add that there. All right, what's interesting is we didn't use any of the water, any of the water tiles, like any of these, but probably <clears throat> we use those in like future maps. So let's see, San, uh, Adam says, how did you come up with the Peace Angel? Or game? Oh, that, my cousin drew that. So, my cousin, I have two cousins that are artists. Um, and one of my cousins, I forgot what name she goes on on Twitch. Uh, it's in my about page. If you look at my about page, it shows who made the emotes. Mm. So the Peace Angel one was, I asked my cousin to draw an angel, an anime angel with a halo as an emote. And that's, that's how um, my cousin drew it, this one. Yeah. It looks really cool when you see the full-sized image. You know, that's tiny, but when you see the full-sized image, it's really good. I wish I could get her to maybe draw like a full picture. Um, you know, like your know, body and wings and everything. That would be really cool. Uh, but I had to pay my cousin $25 to make that emote. <laughs> you know, because she's a new artist and I wanted to to su support artists. And that's $25 is how much usually artists on YouTube and Twitch ask for when they make emotes for people. Yeah. And then my other cousin made... Um, you know, do you see the the subscriber badge? My other cousin made the subscriber badges. See the one in the middle of my name? Um, the one that looks like a shield? So yeah, those my other cousin made. And they're pretty cool too. Like it's the one in the middle of the, next to the crown and next to the video camera. Yeah. I think that's the two-year badge for subscribers. Yeah, but I, again, I had to pay her like $25 for each of those. So, but I, I didn't get any past the two-year one. 
even though we are past two years already. Yeah. All right. So that's kind of how you make a hero skateboard. Let me let me get a lower. Whoops. Oh fudge. Like a lower view. See the different levels, and then you could put the the figures, and they could battle on the board. See, like that. Eventually, I'm gonna paint paint up these figures, so they look cool. Yeah. I'll put this guy way back here. Yeah. Oh, oh that, you can't see that one that well. Well, let me put it here. Yeah. See? So it's like a board game. Ah, and then the other emotes that I have, I made myself because I learned how to um, use the, a graphics program called, um, oh, what is it called? Oh man, I forgot the name of it. Hold on, let me look. Uh, oh, I think I don't have it on my phone. It's on the iPad, but... I have to end the stream if I'm going to go see it. But there's a graphics program that I could use to make emotes on. Well, not emotes. You, you could draw anything. Yeah. So see this game? It looks pretty cool. And then you could customize the maps any way you want. In fact, right now, I think we could... Let's drop in some water tiles here. Boop, boop, boop. Oh man, it's hard to do it like when it's already built. Yeah. Also because this table isn't perfectly flat. There we go. So yeah, we could, we could drop in water tiles here. Oh man, you can't really drop it in when it's like already have a couple of levels. It's super difficult. But you get the idea. Oh man, how come? Yeah, I think the hardest thing about this game is just building the map. But it is kind of fun and it looks cool when you, when you get it finished. Oh wow, let's just pretend that that fits there. See, so you can have like water. I was trying to get it in there, but we already have three stacks of stuff there. Pretty cool. Yeah. Oh I man, it's only been like an hour. But I feel like I've done everything. I've built the map. I gotta read the rule book, but I don't wanna do that while I uh I don't wanna do that read the rule book while I'm streaming. <laughs> Cause the rule book looks pretty hefty. Not hefty really. Let me, uh, let me put the, uh, uh, let me put the uh, iPad up and then we can look at the rule book a little bit. Oh, first let's look at what, what different maps we can make. Whoops. So this is, this is the first map we made. How many maps are in here? Uh, here's map two, spire mount. Map three, the miner spring. Oh, so there's like a whole water section in the middle. Yeah. Oh, there's only three maps? All right. Oh, no, there's four here. Cool. Oh no, I think that just reuses map three. That's okay. And then 
Hey, <laughs> the twice emote. Thank you, Adam. I like the twice emote. I couldn't use the real, you know, twice logo because, you know, for copyright reasons. But since twice is an actual word, I could just approximate it with the, the twice colors and then just use a fancy font. So to get, you know, away with uh, making my own twice logo. So yeah, here's all the different stuff going on. Man, look at, see, the more tiles we can get, the more complex we can make the, the battlefield maps. Here's how moving on to water, rules, range and line of sight. So it's like any strategy game. Um, if you've played something like uh, Disgaea or maybe like uh, Final Fantasy Tactics or what's that? Ogre, Ogre Battle? I think or Ogre Tactics? Something like that. Yeah. So here's the stat cards. A lot of different stuff. And then each character has special abilities. See? And what is this? Consume the dead. Start the game with three red consume markers. When a figure within three clear sight spaces of Rakshat is destroyed, place a consume marker on this army card. You cannot place more than one consume marker on this card each turn. But what does that do? Oh, okay. All figures adjacent to Soul Fury special attack. Man, see, it's complicated, but it's kind of cool. Yeah. See, you can make like a whole bunch of mountains when you stack a bunch of pieces. Those are the army cards. Cool. See, you like this river here? That's I like how they do that. Yeah. Look, they got a dragon too. That's in the bigger set, which I do have. I think I'll unbox that another time though. Because for tonight, I think after I finish the stream, which... Then I'm going to read the rule book so then I can figure out how to play this thing. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. You can make like a whole like a mountain thing with like a, a cave that the water is running through. Isn't that cool? Stealth flying, flying rules. Cool. And then again, this is like the different sets that you could buy. And uh, less more trees that you could get to. Pretty awesome. Yeah, I like this kind of stuff. Oh, focus. Why won't it focus? Let me lower it down again. All right. So I guess that's all for the unboxing of the uh, HeroScape Age of Annihilation Battle for the Wellspring set. Yeah, this is the smaller set. It's about 45 bucks. I think they it's on sale for like 42 now on Amazon. So I think it's decent for the price for a board game. Math Labs, hello, <laughs> welcome. And a big peacekeeper salute to Math Labs. I am I am unboxing another board game, HeroScape. Have you heard of HeroScape, Math Labs? Peace Angels in the chat for you, Math Labs. May the angels protect and guide you. Yeah. What's cool is you build the battlefield with these kind of like these uh, stackable plastic pieces so it's kind of like lego where you build the battlefield and then you have miniatures 
Uh, they come unpainted, but you could paint them up to make them look nice. And then it has these tree pieces and stuff. And you make your own battlefield. Isn't there another one, similar one too? See, they made HeroScape a long time ago, like 20 years ago. And then it went out of print. But now they made a new edition of it. it has the same rules, so it's um it's compatible with the older all the older pieces, if if you could find them. Uh and yeah. So yeah, it's the same game that came out 20 years ago, Math Labs. So before they came painted, but then it got too expensive for the company to produce painted. So yeah, people loved it in the way back. I used to buy them. I, I still have them, the, the figures. I used to buy them at Walmart because um, they were pretty affordable back then, like maybe 10 bucks for a few figures. And like, you know, and then like, uh, maybe it was like 50 bucks for uh, like a set like this. But then now this set, like this is, this is the smaller one. There's like 45 bucks. It's a little, has fewer pieces, but they do make a bigger set now that's like about a hundred bucks that has a lot more pieces, which I do have. It's in the back. <laughs> so behind this, I do have the bigger set, but I'll probably unbox that later in the week or tomorrow. For now, I want to focus on the small one and try to figure out the rules um, and then play like I, I just set up the map for the first scenario and then I'll probably maybe try to play this tomorrow <laughs> you know for tonight I'm just unboxing it and building building the map so yeah pretty pretty cool I like these kind of things it's basically like any kind of remember old PC games that had little you know, like these like hex hexagon maps and it would have like, you know, soldiers and stuff you moved around on in PC games. So it's it, basically that, but in like a toyetic form. <laughs> yeah. And then who knows, maybe I'll do like a stream sometime of like painting up these figures, which I like to do. Dum, dum, dum. So yeah, they got different figures. Like this looks like some kind of shooty assassin lady with a gun and a dagger. Mm, wolf or something with like big antlers. You know, these are fantasy creatures, so they're not real things, of course. And then this sea mermaid kraken kind of character, which is really cool. Yeah. Some kind of winged mystical creature. Comes with a lot of cool stuff. Uh, pirate dude. And skeleton. Skeleton dude. Or skeleton zombie. Alien. <laughs> yeah, it's like XCOM. Very much like XCOM. I haven't played uh Wildermyth yet i don't even i i don't think it's on playstation though because i think i looked for it one time and i don't think it was there so yeah but xcom definitely it's like xcom and what's cool is you know most board games like physical games are on flat cardboard maps so what sets this apart of course is all the um you know, the level building. See? There might have been talk of porting Wildermyth to console, but not yet. Yeah. Let me know if you hear more about it, but I'll keep an eye out for it because I do love strategy games. What's cool is the levels do make a difference in this game. So, for example, if these two were fighting, um... If anybody has a height advantage, they get to roll an extra uh, die for their attack or an extra die for their defense, as long as they have a height advantage. 
Also, the movement is pretty self-explanatory. Like, moving from, like, say, this space to this space is just one move. Um, but if you are, like, on a lower level, and say this is one space up, it costs, you know, an extra movement uh, cost per level. So this would cost one for the level and then one to move up here. Yeah. So and then this one, if you move from here to here, you have to it it would be plus two movement for because there's one level here, one level here, and then to get onto the top of it. So that would from here to there is like one, two, three. Yeah, so it's you know there's a lot of video games like this, but I like having this as a physical form kind of game. Pretty cool. Yeah. This makes you want to drag out your Fallout board game. Yeah. There's a resurgence of of uh, the Fallout stuff because of that TV show. And then they even put out a new miniatures game uh, called Fallout Factions. They had a miniatures game before, Fallout Wasteland Warfare. And then... I don't know why... They put out a new one called Fallout Factions, but it's by the same company that makes also the board game that you're talking about. So there's a lot of uh, miniature figures for Fallout out right now. They even made figures for the characters in the, uh, the TV show, and they look just like the TV show characters. Was very tempted to pick that up, but... <laughs> Again, all these things are pricey, of course. But I think one of my friends got the Fallout uh, set also. So, we'll see. I'll ask him how it is. Yeah. The board game is really good. Yeah. Every, everybody's getting into Fallout stuff now again. Pretty cool. Oh, man. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to pick that up. But we'll have to wait for sales. Plus, I don't have people to play with. Oh, man, if only we could... Uh, if only there was a way to play online board games, but it's hard to do that. I know there's a thing called... What is it called? Tabletop Simulator? That some people play board games on. Like they would, it would be like a digital board recreation of, of a lot of board games and miniatures games, and people use that sometimes, but I don't know how to do it, and I don't think it works on the iPad. Yeah, it's basically an RPG in a box, you can play it solo. Oh, really? Maybe I gotta try that out. Analog version of the old computer game, yeah. I love board games, man. Oh, so you're familiar with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. you. Aren't you into... Oh, what was that thing that you make the, the 3D miniatures out of? That you could... I think you could 3D print the ones you made on there. I remember you were, you were showing me, like, the 3D stuff that you were making of, of figures. That's really cool. Let's see. Did you like the Firefly series? I did. I wasn't like as too deep into it like a lot of people were. But I liked it for what it was. It was wasn't it short though? Didn't like there was not that many episodes if I recall. Yeah, because I think it got cancelled. But they should have restarted it. Hero Forge. That's the one with the miniatures. It's relaxing to to make and paint them virtually. Yeah, that's really cool. Man, if I had a three D printer, I would I would just love to go to town on that thing. Just make whatever I could think up, or even make my characters that when I like, cause I in college I used to play Dungeons and Dragons with some friends, and I would have loved to recreate my my D, D characters and have figures for them 
Oh man, what were my characters? I had like a thief character uh, named Lynx. And yeah, <laughs> what was cool is he, what did he have? He had like an invisibility cloak that I would use a lot to, he would sneak into like, like um, organized crime, kind of like medieval mafia places and like steal things. <laughs> Those cool adventures. And then another one, I played a, a priest character. I forgot what I named my priest character. Yeah, and it was kind of like a crazy, like religious fanatic. <laughs> that would go around trying to heal and convert people to his religion. <laughs> oh man, that was fun. Only one season of Firefly? Oh no. They have a good board game though? Oh wait, no, I have that. Well, I have a miniatures board game of Firefly, but I never did anything with it. It was kind of cool because, what did it, it had like little like buildings or like little, yeah, it had like little buildings that you could walk into and stuff. It might be that or there's like a bunch of different board games that they came out with for Firefly. Yeah. But I have the one with the little figures of the characters, but I didn't get the expansion and they were out of print by the time I got into it. So I don't have... What's that girl? Um, I forgot her name. Yeah. The, the girl that they had to rescue at the very beginning or something. Yeah. So I don't have that. I, what I have is just the, the main guy. Um, I forgot. Man, now I can't remember. Now, now I got to rewatch that series. River. Yeah. So I don't have her because that one was out of print at the time. So I don't know if they'll reprint those, uh, the expansions for that game. But I do have the main captain dude. Um, uh, the other brown coat lady that was with him. I think the... I don't know if it was like an engineering lady. And then um, that comedian dude. Um, yeah, but the, the other guy, the other characters like uh, were expansion characters. And I, it was like out of print by the time I got into it. Well, by the time I bought it, I bought the game on sale because it was on clearance at some place, I remember. Where did I buy it? I think I bought it at a convention. And it was like in the discount bin. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I used to go to Comic Cons a lot, like New York Comic Con. And there would be like a lot of places that sold board games like really cheap. I know. Sometimes you just got to hunt around and see what's available in places. And conventions are a good place. Because they like to dump things that don't sell well. Or like that are out of print, but not really sought after. Yeah. But I couldn't get all, the entire crew. Because like I said, when I was looking for it, like Amazon didn't have the expansion set with all the other characters. So. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Definitely, definitely fun. Oh man, I miss I miss the college days when I could play games with people. Like D and D and all of that. Math Labs, I you haven't told me. Have you ever played like Dungeons and Dragons and RPGs like that? I used to play Dungeons and Dragons and what else did we play? A friend of mine ran this horror game, uh, Call of Cthulhu which was like Victorian era, era, like horror game. And what was the character? I played like a, a college professor that was like investigating and researching like the mystical occult stuff. <laughs> oh man. 
Those are fun times. There we go. Hero escape. Oh man. Gotta make this the thumbnail or something. Yeah. Da da da. All right. I think I've, I've I have unboxed the game and set up the first map. Uh, showed off the miniatures and the contents. Um, I think now I got to end the stream and then read the rule book at some later tonight. And then maybe try to play the game on stream tomorrow. I think that's what I'm going to try to do. I might stream again later tonight. Some like a dragon. <laughs> Since I feel like this is such a short stream. So maybe you could catch me then. Yeah. Oh man, why didn't my phone turn off? There we go. All right, everyone. Thank you for coming by. Thank you, Math Labs. Yeah, maybe I'll play some Like a Dragon, like right after this, after I get a snack. Well, yeah, I got to do more unboxings of, of this. Uh, and maybe, maybe I'll do a stream painting up these figures. Yeah. All right. <laughs> if you enjoyed this live or as a past broadcast, please consider giving me a follow and making a new friend. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please check me out when I'm live on Twitch. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me if you're getting into HeroScape too. The HeroScape revival is on. It was just released this past weekend. So I'm going to try out the game, uh, paint up the figures, and then who knows? We'll see. We'll go from there. <laughs> yeah. And to all my peacekeepers tonight, especially Sandy, Adam, and Math Labs, a big peacekeepers salute to you all. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. Thank you, Math Labs. Thank you for watching tonight. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Oh, what did I miss in the chat? Oh no, did I miss a lot? Oh no, wait, okay, let me, let me, yeah, I, I didn't see all this chat. It, the chat wasn't moving, so I did miss a lot. Let me see, Hero Forge, season one, right? You think you're talking about brigands and brown coats? Yeah, I think it's something like that. River Town, good fun. Adam, Adam was asking, do I play Risk? I do play Risk. Long time ago, though. I don't know where my risk set is. I have to go find it and dig it up. Yeah. Sorry I didn't catch that, Adam. The, the chat screen wasn't moving. And MathLab says, no, only CRPGs like Baldur's Gate. Oh, yeah. I, I really want to play the new Baldur's Gate. I've never played a Baldur's Gate game before, but that new one looks really interesting. But I have to wait till it's more discounted. More on sale because this is expensive. Yeah, the map labs. Baldur's Gate seems pretty cool, so that's a good recommendation for a future stream. There we go. All right, thank you, Adam. Thank you, Math Labs. I will see you all probably later. Probably later doing some like a dragon because it's still early, it's only 11. All right. Thank you, everyone. Big peacekeeper salute to everyone. These angels in the chat. I think I did that. Thank you, Adam. Thank you for all those peace angels. There we go. I better end stream. Night, everyone. Peace.